Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, you all can call me Pharaoh, and I'm joined with... Gimini! <laughs> <laughs> and what... And th I, don't, I, don't, I don't even know what I was going to say, and welcome back to Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Spirit of Justice. Woo! Last time we left off, we began the trial to prove Maya's innocence, because we know she's innocent. And we just saw Rafa's insight, and now we gotta figure out. Well, we gotta point things out. And Phoenix kind of made it seem like we had to pay attention to. We had to pay attention to the. Jeez, uh, um, I forgot uh, the intensity. And you know what? The audio is still having trouble now again. Really? Yeah, it, it's rising up again on its own. You know, I do apologize. It seems to be like. It's this portion of the game the audio stutters and I think boosts up. So I'll try. We'll try getting through as quickly as possible. Um, so big thing here. Well, well, first of all, let's let's let it play again. Okay, play. Okay, there's Maya. There's the lantern. Reading. Okay. Yep. Okay, I knew it. Okay. I knew it. There, I think we all saw that. What? The wind? Not the wind, per se, but, um... Well, the intensity, first off. About... You saw the incense kept growing, but the footsteps never did. Like, it, it, like the, well, the footsteps, they were there, but they didn't increase with the incense, right? Yeah, that was weird. And, and then, also, well, I mentioned, like, it... Actually, no, you know what? Fine, I think I know what you gotta do. So we go to, like, I think the fifth thing? And then... The fifth thing? One, two, three, four. Oh, okay. And then, let's go to... Do, do, do... We select... What do we select? The... I think he heard the accused approaching footsteps and smelled their incense-laden robes. I think that statement... He heard the accused... Okay. Okay, and then I kind of... I let it play? I, I let it play a little bit where the incense is bigger than footsteps. Okay. And now I think I'm going to go ahead and select footsteps. Select footsteps? Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. And present? Yep. Yeah. And I think we were right. The music stopped. Yes. Okay. Okay. So that was pretty. I like that. It was pretty cool. Okay. The victim supposedly heard the accused approaching footsteps. But did he really? What nonsense is this? Is it not abundantly clear? No, it's not. Because there's something strange about those footsteps. Uh, strange? Explain yourself, barbed head. The footsteps are strange because... And of course... Not necessarily the timing, but they don't get louder. That's right. They, they're they not getting any louder! And why exactly does that matter? Please focus your attention on the incense that the victim smelled. The scent grows stronger as the accused approaches. If the accused really had approached the victim, <laughs> the sound of her footsteps would have grown louder as the scent of incense grew stronger. Oh, why, that makes perfect sense. How can this be explain your benevolence? Um, well, well, there must be a reason. You ain't got none. Objection. Oh, hey. Oh, great. It is as they say. Even a putrid worm of a lawyer will turn. What does that even mean? Uh, he's not exactly singing your praises, that's for sure. Still, we cannot discount this information solely on account of its lawyerly source. Your benevolence. Perhaps you must listen more carefully to the abbot's Matama. Listen more carefully? What's he talking about? Hmm. Yes, it would appear so. 
I shall try to refine the sensation. R refine the sensation? I can more accurately cause sensations by deepening my communication with the Mitama. Gauge. What was it? Gauge. What I say? Gosh. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. It's okay. I I I don't like ever pointing out mispronunciations, but that that one was funny to me. Oh gosh. Gosh. I, I didn't know you could do that. Why have we never done this before? I know you can't just introduce that. By refining a sensation, a clearer picture of the truth can be discovered. Oh god. Uh, here we go. Oh blessed Mitama, I beseech you, hear me now and respond to my call. <laughs> oh, okay, at least she doesn't have to do the dance. Wait, bells? What? Footsteps change into bells? What could this mean? I know exactly what it means, because I think what I initially said was right, which doesn't make any sense. Yeah, because he has bells on his feet, didn't he? On his ankles, yeah. On his kinkles. Kinkles. <laughs> bells? But the only bells that have seen the crime were... Ah! That jingling must have come from Abadami's bells! <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. You nasty pharaoh. Shut Come up. Come on. The man's dead. <laughs> oh, 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 please <laughs> shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you mean those... <laughs> you mean those big things he had on those ankles? <laughs> Why are we not mature? Because we're not. Oh, You mean those big things he had on his ankles? <laughs> you can't even say it without laughing. <laughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> Well, there you have it. The sound of bells was from the high priest's own footsteps. Okay, yes, but that still doesn't make sense. Right. Uh, th then that means... If the footsteps belong to the victim himself, it means that it was the victim who was moving, not the accused. Which, which is what I said very early on. I was like, it doesn't look like the person was even moving. Right. It's just like he was, like he was floating. Right. Anything. <clears throat> the victim was the one who went running toward a broken lantern from the spring. A far cry from what her benevolence insight would have us believe. Uh, no! All right. And now okay. The diagram was changed. Okay, that's great, but. Why? But why would the victim have approached the accused? Maybe he was trying to defend himself. Please explain. Yeah, seriously, why would he explain himself by plunging himself? He could have felt threatened by Lady Kira standing there with a dagger. If so, he might have, he might have thought to overpower her before she attacked. That makes but sense. Isn't he, like, useful, though, that they don't... I mean, yeah. But... <laughs> 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 Still your voices! This is nothing but a theory, and a poor one at that! Uh, be not led astray by this lawyer's obvious po postulation! Oh. While his insolence is inexcusable, I would ask that you calm yourself, your benevolence. Pretty much. Never mind. R right? <laughs> is this. <laughs> Is there something you wish you care to say, Prosecutor Sad Maddy? Even if it was Abbott in me who moved, it does not negate the accused crime. But, what? What do you mean? <clears throat> the accused was likely waiting for the high priest to approach. Ah! And as he neared, she plunged a dagger into him. It is as simple as that. Oh, right. It really doesn't change much now, does it? Yes. It is as the prosecutor has said. In fact, it is as I meant to say along as well. Every time she does that pose, I'm like, teenager mode, that, oh my god. That's exactly what it is. Right. And that's why you were so shocked when you first heard it. Understand now, lawyer. That contradiction you conjured up has come to naught. 
once I hone my insights, it will vanish like the dying rays of the sun. Well, All right, she revised it. Where now it says, Oop. you can say that. He brushed the accused and tried to fight her off by the broken lantern. Was that it? Okay. See, the fact that it was Abbott in me who moved changes nothing. Ugh. Come on, Phoenix. You gotta keep your cool. The contradiction I point out must remain must mean something. That one sensation changed after Princess Rafa refined her vision. It stands to reason that something else might have changed too because of her refinement. I should focus on any sensations I have changed. While searching for more contradictions between her them and her insights. Okay, so I guess we need to watch the whole thing again to see if anything changed. Right. So, me... so there's Maya. The lantern. This is Maya again. And... The other lantern, which I think should be broken, but... But it's not broken yet. That's that's what's confusing me. He reads me. it. And... Well, then he should hear the lantern being broken, then. You would th you think. But that... See, okay. Is it now broken? It looked like it. Incense, incense, bell. Water, what? Whoa, 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 hold up. We need to go back. Oh, crap. Well, now I gotta... Hold on. Because no nothing happens with those first five, four panels, so he... <gasps> he stepped back! He stepped back? He got... S oh, my gosh. What if he stepped back into the statue and got stabbed? Oops, hold on. My, my audio got muted. Hold on really quick. I'm trying to fix it. Oh. Yeah. All right, now what were you saying? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. What it, he, it? This is water, so he felt that, and there's a pool behind him. So what if he stepped back? So he was. Okay, so it, he, if he was even he was walking backwards, how does that explain her going forward or him getting stabbed? That's... What if the statue stabbed him? No, but he was stabbed in the abdomen. It would have, yeah, well, would have seen something in the back. But okay, I, I think you're on the. I think you have it right. Now it's just a matter of where do we push it on. What um, if he was just so paranoid he actually caused himself, actually he like, killed himself accidentally on the statue itself? That could be it. Because, I mean, there was, I mean, there was so much blood on the statue. That's what kind of confused me. There's so much blood on the statue. Hmm. Okay, so I think, so do we need to select water on the, where is it? He rushed the accused and tried to fight her off the, by the broken lantern? I think? I don't know. I, I, I want to say we present water, but I'm not sure where. Well, wouldn't it be rushed, the accused? Because it's because that means the, there's no water over there. He rushed towards her. All right. Oh, my headphones fell off. Hold on. Ugh. Okay. Do you want me to guinea pig it? Um. No, we can both just do it right now. I'm just I'm just trying to fix the audio and do all this. Yeah, it's fine. Well, I, I gotta redo it though. <laughs> I'm just gonna wait till okay. Play plus 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 water. And let's select water on this statement. <laughs> Objection! I think you're right. <laughs> Good job. I did. Yay. <clears throat> Hold it! How do we know that purification rite was performed exactly as it was supposed to be? <clears throat> That's easy. The customs governing the rite are very clear, and Abbot Inni would have adhered to them. Well, that's strange. Mr. Wright, would you care to explain just what's so strange? Yes, I would ask you to consider the sound of the victim's footsteps. <sighs> the sound of bells changes to the sound of water at one point. What's this? It's simple. The victim must have stepped in some water. Oh? Yes. 
and the only source of water in the inner sanctum is a spring. And therein lies a contradiction. What contradiction? I believe the right start started out as it should have. The victim stood with his back to the spring, and the accused stood right in front of him. But, we now know that the victim then moved into the spring. But Pokunka, that's absurd! This means the accused location differs from what her benevolence's insight indicates. Ah! Then... Where do you propose the accused stood when she damned donned Lady Kira's robes? <laughs> Sorry, I don't know how I read that. <laughs> based on, that's good. Based on the sound of the victim's footsteps, I believe Maya was standing here. What? I mean... Isn't it right... Here? I, well, I can't see where you're pointing. Well, I, I didn't even move it. Because I guess? he has to be right in front, right? I mean, it has to, but they can't be switched. Hold on, let's let's look at a court record again, because they have those diagrams there. So, oh, what if it is switched? But how else would he gotten water? If he was moving actually towards her. I'm confused. No, but that doesn't make sense, because he sees the broken lantern. No, is it broken, though? Wait a minute, hold on. Let me see the details. Hmm. What if it is switched? What if she was standing in front of the spring? But it doesn't make any sense why how... What about the water? Unless... <laughs> If he rushed towards her, if we, if we believe he rushed towards her and then she was in the and she was in the water, then okay, you know that makes sense. Okay, that's what we kept saying: broken lantern, broken lantern. It's it wasn't there was no broken lantern in the in the vision, so that's why. But I didn't see, I didn't see the statue behind Maya. That's what I'm that's what I'm confused about because too. she's standing in front of it, even though it is kind of big. But maybe there's a reason. That's why she said the water was red, because she's probably standing in it. Hmm. Okay, I think you're right then, so let's point to the spring. Okay. Whoa, whoa uh, oh. Take that. Okay, the spring? Yep. Okay, I did it. Alright. Until this moment, we've all just assumed that Abbott and me and Miss Faye were standing where they were supposed to be, as shown in this right guide. In short, the victim should have been standing with his back to the spring and the accused in front. However, if that's how they were really standing, he couldn't have stepped into that spring as he approached her. The problem is the victim did step into the spring. This can only mean that Miss Faye had actually been standing in the water. But if this is true, then their positions would have been completely reversed. Okay, and that's updated now, but you want to tell me, why would it, wouldn't Maya know that she was already standing there? Right. How come she didn't say anything? I don't know. Yeah, yeah well, maybe he's going to find out now. What is going on here, Miss Faye? Were you really standing in the spring? I, I'm sorry, but I barely remember anything about the right. Oh, I, anything about it, okay. The high police would never make such an obvious blunder during a right. What on earth is that even possible? Whoa, girl. <laughs> yes, yeah, I, I, <laughs> I just got confused that um, I thought she just don't she doesn't remember anything when she passed out. I didn't know it was anything about it. All right. That's weird. Okay. Be that as it may, this does not overturn my insights. It doesn't. Let us say the accused was standing in the spring. So what? So what? This completely reverses your positions is what? That their positions differed from what is customary is rather curious. However, what does that change? It certainly does not erase that the accused brutal crime. She's got a point. Yep, <laughs> I think the intrigue is that. 
I guess you have a point there. You lawyers are, are an ab uh, war. Hmm. You lawyers are an absurd breed. Never thinking ahead, you cling to the first insignificant contradiction you can muster. Yeah. Sounds like Princess Rafa has a pretty good grasp on what lawyers are all about. Oh, Maya, where would I be without your brutally frank commentary <laughs> right now? Oh, I missed you. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Are we gonna do the, the thought train? Right. <laughs> Is this contradiction really meaningless? But something really doesn't feel right. Did I take a wrong turn somewhere? <laughs> That's why I use Google Maps. <laughs> hmm. I will now amend my insight to account for this new truth. Stop amending! <laughs> Alright, let's see. Well, she switched <gasps> it to... Wait a minute. I need to... Can we look at the insight? Uh... Oh, sorry. I missed it. No, it says he rushed the accused and tried to fight her off by the poolside lantern. That's all it changed. Oh, okay. Now the contradiction is no more. But the truth of the matter still stands, no matter how stubbornly you deny it. What do you have to say for yourself now, Mr. Wright? Ugh. Nick! Your Majesty, this lawyer may have raised a trivial objection, but her benevolence's insights have no further in inequities of any kind. Yes, so it would seem. Wait a second! But there is another contradiction! Hmm. Oh, by the way, I think that's each of the souls, uh, I mean, the butterfly soul of the victim. Because the other case was different. What do you mean? You mean like the type like, of butterfly? Yeah. You know what? I think it might be right. That's so cool. Details. Still you flounder about? <laughs> Wretched beast. Though you though you rack that putrid brain of yours, nothing worthwhile will come of it. Maya, please tell me you remember something that might help us out here. Sorry, I really don't remember a thing. But now that the place I was standing in has changed, who knows? That alone may cause a new discrepancy with Princess Rafa's insights. Oh, that's right. We now know that Maya was standing in the spring. A major change like that could have very well produced a contradiction. I should take another look at the Inner Sanctum diagram in the court record. Let's do that right now. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, Inner Sanctum court di ooh, diagram. There it is. So that's the very last thing. Ah, shoot. Oh. Okay, sorry. I almost presented something. Uh. Okay. Um. Hmm. You know what? I need to... I... I, I... I feel like we need to look at the inside again. Which, because well, we can do again. I'm, I'm sure we have to do it again anyway. Something bothers me. The, uh, the statue, the, or not the statue, excuse me, the, um, of, of, uh, <laughs> words! Why aren't words coming out of my mouth? Um, if you look at, like, when he rushes the thing, mm -hmm. the way it, the way the, the thing's holding the knife. Mm-hmm. It it doesn't look like the actual dagger. Like, it looks gold instead of silver. And so I'm thinking, what if the Kira costume was put over the statue? Wow. You know, I think... Because that it would explain why there's so much blood on the statue itself. Because I don't think an abdomen wound would create that much blood unless he was literally jumping all on top of that thing if as he was dying. Right. So, <laughs> um, okay, I actually, I, I think you have it right there. Because I was just thinking, like, what about the wind? Like, you know, you know how it was kind of blowing in a certain direction. I don't know if that mean, meant anything at all. Well, that actually may come into play. All right. Okay. All right, nice. I think we just got it. Um, Noted. <clears throat> All right, let's continue. Confirm where, where Maya and Abbott in me are standing. And then focus on finding any discrepancies between their positions and the insights. All right, well, we are at just about 25 minutes. Should we just go ahead and save this for next time? Uh, sure. All righty. 
Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, this is actually kind of like a repeat, kind of like deja vu, because I stopped the last episode in this as well. <laughs> but, uh, wow, no, we, we got some pretty cool stuff going on here. And there goes my yeah. audio. Audio, oh. stop it. Stop it. The, it does not like, it does not like the insights portion at all. Uh, <laughs> well, hopefully soon you don't have to deal with that. Hopefully. Regardless, ladies and gentlemen, uh, next time we will go ahead and take a look at the insight again and see what else we can do, because I think skinning is right. So. Uh, maybe. Well, maybe. Or at least has, like, a, a good theory. So, we'll see what's up. So, as usual, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you all next time for Let's Play Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Spirit of Justice. Woo! Have a great day.